And I've been doing a series of um, preparations for tutorials on RGB color and I wanted to do this color wheel in using just three colors red, green and blue. So I'm going to switch over to motion and uh, this is what I was able to get. Motion doesn't have a, a radial gradient that sweeps. It has a radial gradient that goes from um, the center to the outer edge or vice versa but it won't sweep around the center. <coughs> so to do this we we'll just get started with a new project. And the first thing I did was uh, create a template. So I need a line and I'll draw a line through the center here. And we'll just set this down to one. And I'll just go ahead and set the color to white. And doing this is actually pretty easy, so I'm just going to duplicate this line and then rotate it 30 degrees and duplicate that line and rotate it 30 more degrees duplicate rotate 90 120 and 150. Okay, I'm going to center this up. Okay, I know in the RGB color model that one of the primary colors is going to take 120 degrees of circle. And it's going and they will be 100% intensity and then they will taper off for another 60 degrees. So each primary has influence over 240 degrees of the color circle. This is the zero point on the circle and the starting color is red. Red will be 100% intensity from here for up to here which is the 60 degree mark and then it will taper off down to zero percent here and coming around the circle on the other side the red starts picking up from here again and reaches a hundred percent at this point so from here to here to here it's a hundred and twenty degree sweep of pure red so I'm going to start drawing my wedges. Okay, we start with the zero zero point. Actually, let's start up here. Come down here. Z 
zero, zero. Back to here. I'm going to click and drag out to make the arc. And try and fit that as well as I can right about there. And then close this. Okay, for the next wedge, I'm going to do uh, here. And close. Okay. And I'm going to rename these Red Solid. Red Gradient 1. And Red Gradient 2. I'm going to change the fill mode. Now, well, actually, what I'm going to do is select all three of these and group them. And this will be the red group. Okay. Now for the gradient, all I have to do to make this a solid color is just pull that off. And I'm going to taper the opacity from 100% to zero. Like that. And I'm going to get the gradient adjust tool. And I'm going to Center that on the corner, center this side on this corner. Like that. And do the same thing down here. Okay, it's not a perfect sweep gradient, but it'll work out. I'm going to duplicate this group. Call it the green group. I'm going to set the anchor point 
at zero zero. And then rotate it. Well, that's one hundred and twenty. Okay, and turn that off for a minute. Duplicate this again. Actually, I don't want to just take care of this while I'm at it. Okay. Call this a blue group. And rotate it. Okay. RGB color model is an additive color model, so I'm going to change the blending modes of all of these to add. Adjust the positions a little and there you have it. They're 360 degree color wheel with three colors, red, green, and blue. Okay, so how did we do? Well, I have a gradient here that I've pre-done in Photoshop. Drag it out into its own group. See how well it blends with the gradient we did in motion? Let me set that up a little better. taking into account the scaling offset. Now this one in Photoshop was done, remember, with stops for each section of color. There's the red, a yellow, green, the cyans, the blues, and the magenta. So we had a section for these half stops as well. Pretty successful experiment. <laughs> 